I know that I am better now than I was six months ago. And I also know in six months time, I'll be better than I am right now. We are either growing or we're dying. There is no status quo really. If our information, our knowledge, our experiences has not improved in six months time, shame on us, we have not really grown. So over yesterday and today, you know, we presented with a lot of amazing lectures from a lot, a lot of amazing speakers. The question is not, don't just take it in, actually change your actions. <coughs> Make it count. You know, if in this world, in this day and age, information is abundant. I mean, it used to be, you know, you get information from institution, the teachers teach you, are you going to learn information, you learn from somewhere? Well, right now, you know, Google, the internet has completely changed that. Your seven-year-old can easily tell you what the, uh, what does pi exactly means, what is, uh, when was the date that the Declaration of Independence was written. Instantly. Information is not a problem. Wisdom is a bit more scared. So, we have to learn constantly. Just keep expanding ourselves. Second message is always have a vision, always have a goal. So, when I came to the UK, I knew I wanted to be a vet. And it was one of the few lucky, I, I call it luck really, from young, I knew I wanted to be a vet already. And, I, and everything I did was just leading me towards that goal. A lot of my friends were not that lucky. So, you know, it's not unusual for um, uh, boys and girls to keep heading off their teens into their 20s, not very sure what to do, and pick up a university degree. I'm from Singapore, and in Singapore, the default degree is mechanical engineering. So, everybody, if they do not know what to do, they will become a mechanical engineer because from there they will branch out. So, you can man street lights, you can become a banker using that particular degree. And even up to now, you know, some of my friends, uh, they work because they have to work, and it's not really what they want to do. So we always need to have a vision. And the reason behind that is also, we cannot connect the dots forwards. If Steve Jobs said this, we cannot connect the dots forwards. We can only connect the dots backwards. What do I mean by that? If I were to ask you right now, you can probably map up exactly what you've done since you were young, that led to this present moment. All the decisions that we've made, or haven't made, choices that we did, and results that we obtained, but we have no idea what's going to happen in the future. We have to have a vision and work backwards from that because we can only connect the dot backwards. <coughs> Without vision, it's almost like having a super powerful speedboat or aeroplane. And if the pilot doesn't know where they're going, they're just going to be wandering in the sea or in the air. So we need to have a vision. I knew that work by accident. I'm not that smart. When I was 21, I had four goals. Okay. First one was to be a vet, second one was to get married, third one was to have children, and fourth one is to have own vet practice. And I achieved all four when I was 39, less than 20 years. And I know for a fact that I didn't even set up to achieve them, I just bumbled along the way and got into it. So less than 20 years I've achieved four goals that I set when I was 21. So I know it works, because if you think about it, you will become what you think, you will become your thoughts, so to speak. Okay. I was just asking myself, you know, there are two problems with that. If I had really, really, really focused and focused on those four goals and actually make each day count to work towards it, I probably would have achieved it in 10 years, not 20 years. And also, once I achieved it when I was 39, what then? That was the first problem. Or rather, that's the second problem. Is that my goals were too low. Way too low. So the biggest one big issue is that, number one, people don't make goals, okay, which is, which is a problem on its own and we have to really find ourselves to look at what we're going to do, why do we, what's our purpose, what do we do every day. But if they do, a lot of people, they make goals so high that they can't achieve them. The sadder thing is, they make it so low, they actually achieve them. So, make the goals big, always have a vision because it will allow you to move forward, to see forward and plan backwards because we can only connect the dots backwards, not forwards. <laughs>